What's going on guys? It's Jimmy here. If you've seen my other video about foods that are being banned in the United States because they're causing cancer, they're harmful, and they're banned in other countries, well, it actually gets worse than this. Take a look here. I'm going to show you some things that are very alarming and you probably don't even know about. Here we go. Okay, Americans eat a long list of foods banned in other countries. We routinely buy and eat products banned in other countries because they contain certain ingredients. And California, the largest state in the country with over 50 million people, California Assembly passes a bill that would ban the sale of many different food items like Skittles, Mountain Dew, and several major products that you have probably eaten before. The measure would prohibit the, the manufacturing, sale, or distribution of any food product in California containing the chemicals red dye number three and other food additives that I'll share with you here in a, sec, uh, in a second, uh, like red velvet cake. Have you ever had red velvet cake? chances are you have, or the chemical titanium dioxide. Uh, yeah, sounds like something that shouldn't even be in food, but is another one of the five food additives banned by the state, but will not kick in as of 2025. Yeah, this is concerning. Well, the problem is, is they got to give these food manufacturers time to find other ingredients to make the food. Meanwhile, some of these ingredients are cancer causing. Yeah. Meanwhile, if you knew that there are a list of dozens or even hundreds of uh, items that are already banned in Europe, and have been for a while that are not even banned in the United States. And there's science to actually prove this. It kind of makes you wonder what is our FDA doing over here and why aren't they banned? Why isn't Congress banned them? Why isn't the FDA banned them? It would probably take you down a rabbit hole that you could spend a lot of time on. Let's take a look here. If you knew that some of the foods you select at the grocery store were banned in other countries because of certain ingredients, would you still buy them for your family? Surprisingly, the list is pretty long, and it includes products that are pretty popular in U.S. households. Products like Ritz crackers, Gatorade, Wheat Thins, Frosted Flakes, and Coffee Made Creamer are just some of the items banned in other countries because they contain some of the ingredients they contain. Have you ate any of those products recently? I have. I just had a blue Gatorade here recently. Yeah. And Frosted Flakes. I've had Frosted Flakes for, I mean, not all the time, but periodically, definitely. Other products like Skittles, Pop-Tarts, Gatorade, and those yummy Little Debbie's products are banned in the European Union because they contain dyes like Yellow 5, Yellow 6, and Red 40. The EU banned these artificial colors after their scientific research indicated they could be harmful to health, especially to young children. But they're not banned in the United States. The job of Purdue associate professor Amanda Deering is food safety, saying, quote, I could see how that would be alarming that, you know, how come Europe doesn't allow something that we eat every day? And I could see the concern, but I think, too, it's all about how much of that chemical could actually cause illness. Coffee made, Ritz crackers, and those warm, buttery Pillsbury biscuits? All banned in Switzerland, Austria, Hungary, Iceland, Norway, and Denmark because of trans fat like partially hydrogenated soybean 
and cottonseed oils. And the list goes on. Wheat thins, cereals like Frosted Flakes banned in the United Kingdom and Japan, parts of Europe because of a chemical called BHT, bichelated hydroxytolone, something that you shouldn't even be in food if you can't pronounce it, which is used as a flavor enhancer. The foods we eat are tested every day in laboratory uh, and visited on the Purdue campus. But simply put, Deering said the Food and Drug Administration, the FDA, and their food guideline are, quote, some of the, stricted in the uh, strictest in the world. They review these things all the time, they say. But at least California is the first state to start banning some of these new foods. And they're in the process of. You can see here, a new bill in California legislature aims to change the ingredients makeup of some of America's most popular snacks, candies, and other foods sold in stores, according to the bill. The measure, Assembly Bill AB 418, would prohibit the manufacture's sale or distribution of any food product in California containing the chemicals red dye number three, commonly listed as red number three in ingredients and food packaging, titanium dioxide, potassium bromate, brominated vegetable oil, or propylparaben. Again, some of the stuff you can't even pronounce, you wonder if it should be in your food. The bill notes that each chemical listed is already currently banned in the European Union due to scientific studies that have shown evidence that these chemicals are harmful. They're already banned there. We're just, we've been already eating them for who knows how long, right? In the release, Gabriel points to various studies and reports that show these additives can cause harm to the reproductive and immune systems, yikes, behavioral issues in children, and increase cancer risk in animals, and who knows what in humans, quote, Californians, well, and probably the rest of us, right? shouldn't have to worry about the food they buy in their neighborhood grocery store, might be full of dangerous additives or toxic chemicals. And honestly, with more and more foods being processed and less and less foods made like they were, you know, years ago, it, it, honestly, I, I really feel like, I mean, you can let me know your thoughts here in the comments, but it just feels like, with food manufacturers trying to make foods cheaper and cheaper and cheaper, it just feels like less wholesome foods and more chemical produced foods. It's just they're trying to make foods as cheap as possible, smaller <laughs> smaller packages, inflation, inflation, inflation. It just feels like the consumer, us, the people buying this stuff and eating this stuff, are getting the yeah, the shit end of the stick, for lack of a better word. You can let me know your thoughts here on this, but um, should the FDA, should Congress, should somebody be looking out for us? And uh, should we actually start like reading the label on every single thing we buy, like going through line by line on these ingredients, but like looking for like, should we have a list on our phone saying of things we shouldn't be buying <laughs> and going through on our on these ingredients let me know your thoughts here in the comments i'll keep you up to date here i'll link you to the other video here that i did that over a hundred thousand people watched and had thousands of comments on people were shocked here on this i'll keep you up to date here with everything going on here in our country on a daily basis so if you haven't yet Make sure to subscribe down below to our YouTube channel. Click the bell icon so you don't miss out on any new videos here. New videos come out here on our YouTube channel every day at 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thanks for liking, and please share this video with anybody that needs to hear this information. 
it's very important. Please call, email, tweet your representatives so that they know about this stuff. Here's some videos you should watch next. Russia just issued an arrest warrant out for a U.S. senator and said they will give nuclear weapons to other countries in pretty shocking video. Here's that other video about other banned food items, the first video in this series. So click on one of those videos next. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.